Okay. Um, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. Welcome to our next webinar series from the Department of Quantity Surveying from the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment. My name is Yuna Nur Shafina, the lecturer of Quantity Surveying. And with me today, we have our speaker, Surveyor Mukram Idris, to share his experiences in this webinar topic, a day in the life of a quantity surveyor in construction site. Before we start the webinar, let me introduce our speaker's background. Surveyor Mukram Idris, a senior lecturer and a program coordinator for quantity surveying, Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, in Masa University. He worked in the local university for 12 years and 10 years in the construction industries. He graduated with diploma in architecture and bachelor's degree in building surveying from University Technology Mara UITM. He obtained his master's degree in construction management as well from the University Technology of Malaysia, UTM. He then registered as building surveyor under the Royal Institution of Surveyors Malaysia, RISM, and also has a certified Revit Autodesk trainer. He is also actively involved in teaching BIM related subject with construction industries, technical drawings, 3D modeling for masterclass, and any other subject related to civil engineering. So the topic for today's webinar will also discuss on how the future career as a quantity surveyor on the construction site. So without further ado, I would like to pass the floor to, uh, to invite Surveyor Mukram to start on his webinar. Thank you, Surveyor Mukram. Okay, <clears throat> uh, good evening. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Erin, uh, Irna. Okay, so uh, for topic today, uh, I'd like to share my experience. Mostly we try to relate on a quantity surveyor in construction site okay what is the daily life there okay uh, for your information not only a quantity surveyor will go to the site okay mostly they have a lot of parties involved there so it means uh, we as a quantity surveyor we need to uh, what we call uh, do collaboration with other parties to make sure whatever the construction progress will be smooth and complete in the time schedule. <clears throat> okay, so we go for a uh, beginning. Okay, this is what actually quantity surveyor do on site. Okay, mostly uh, if we talk on uh, daily life as a quantity surveyor, at site okay they are not only do the same thing for daily eh? so they have a lot of thing okay they need to do for example in generally we need to identify on what we are do the budgeting okay underestimating analyzing and control costs <clears throat> so uh for the inspection side okay uh we call QS, they need to observe what happened currently, what the progress are uh, on the process, okay, on site itself, right? <clears throat> okay, if we look here, we try to uh, give some advice on legal issue related to the construction or any label there. <clears throat> okay, this is almost uh, happened on site. Okay, whatever we plan, sometimes they are not follow the schedule or sometimes they are not uh, inclined with the uh, related tasks that we are assigned. Okay, so we need to do a lot of advice in certain, certain problem. Okay, some problem, uh, they are very uh, crucial. 
and some problem is very uh, easy to solve or handle okay and uh, at the same time okay we need to do some observation on what tasks done on site okay because they are related to the money okay we need to do some evaluation what the task is already complete so because this is uh, from there okay qs will be approved the payment and so on so before we approve it we need to make sure every single task on site must be done properly then not only 100 percent work sometime we need to pay at least uh, let's say the contractor already claimed around uh, 50 percent or whatever so based on percentage they claim okay we need to ensure they are related and they are oh sorry they are uh, uh, the same as what they are uh, claim so we need to go to observe and fine tune everything is uh, same as what they are claim lah, right so uh, <clears throat> okay this is what i'm trying to uh, give more detail okay some job on the site okay not only under new construction okay sometimes the job is under repair and maintenance work so sometimes uh, the party involved is different so it means the construction site mostly are unique okay because different project different party will be involved and we as a we as a qs we need to identify and then we need to ensure the maximum volume to obtain from minimum expenses so most of the uh, payment okay or work progress we need to know it should be on the track okay because we try to identify everything must follow all the possible legal okay because uh, we need to make sure uh, all the terms are uh, follow the sequence and follow the legal issue lah, legal uh, what we call uh, legal approach okay so the next slide okay we try to explore day by day action that qs go through to complete the task uh, entrances to it okay so different side they have a different activity and the site itself they have a unique activity if we uh, refer to each other okay okay uh we try to fine tune okay this is we try to go for a uh, one day task that mostly uh carry by qs okay we, we go on the morning what uh, he or she will do an afternoon session what the things no mostly happen and also in the evening session okay we try to find the morning task right okay uh mostly on site okay morning is very peaceful time okay suitable for us to do a site visit okay to observe what happen on site okay because in the morning the sun is still not uh right okay so we go for site visit okay we try to find the site access okay either they are this is for the most uh, new site okay maybe they will come up with the new temporary road okay so make sure the road is done okay because uh, sometimes the road under temporary they just do in surface okay because they were they will use only half or maybe on the certain certain part only okay so make sure we will identify this because uh, some cases okay we need to pay for certain certain amount okay whatever they done on the site access or temporary road okay so maybe uh, we go for <coughs> a few detail features okay on site Okay, whatever they are stated on the construction method okay we need to identify the site features okay either the sloping on site okay the open area or open field or flat wooden and so on 
Okay, some will be do some uh, like a cut and fill process. Okay, so we know this is the engineer on uh, responsibility, but we as a QS, we need to observe the work itself. Okay, either they done properly or not, right? Because uh, this is involve a lot of uh, tools and also uh, labor will be involved there. Okay, so we as a, pay, uh, uh, a person who control the payment, okay, we not only see the re final result, okay, at least we know the progress <coughs> or what they are currently done eh, on site. Okay, not only that, okay, we need some time to find out the, the location itself, okay, because some of the uh, permit they will request to the client okay to pay for some permit or some uh, related to the material storage and so on so we need to identify the site should be in a good <coughs> condition okay and at the same time we will find out okay the temporary or permanent facing is there because uh, we need to ensure the security okay because some of the uh, site okay whatever material we keep there they have someone will be uh keep it back eh? in during the the night time and so on because of security sometimes they are loose and so on okay so to make sure the material on stock should be available for us to do the job right so we try to avoid uh missing of material because they will affect it to our uh, cost eh, to replace back again the material okay some this is uh, in early beginning of the site uh, process eh? but this is mostly what we need to observe okay as a QS just to make sure they are follow the procedure okay then if we uh, let's say on this task mostly uh, two or three hours, okay, based on the size itself of uh, the, the construction site itself, if they are a bigger site, so it means we take a lot of time to do this checking and so on, right? Or maybe sometimes we need to observe from certain, certain process, cut and fee and so on to make sure they are uh, follow the, the task uh, on the shadow, right? <clears throat> Okay, maybe that's uh, we take three or uh, two or three hours, okay, to do that. Okay, maybe uh, later on, okay, some uh, site, okay, maybe at the afternoon, we do some more observation. Maybe on this time, okay, we will measure the value of work done on site. Okay, maybe at the evening or at the afternoon, we have a meeting, eh? some meeting will be identified the work done the work process the anything happen on site was occur was a argument from contractor or subcontractor will be listened during the meeting okay before we do the meeting and so on better we go for measure uh, value some of the work done on site okay because sometime if we not observe properly uh they will occur in the meeting but if you don't have any clear view on that problem maybe you are clueless eh? nothing to uh, say on what they are talking on the meeting okay the problem will be high uh, will be rise up during the meeting okay so before that we will identify okay for example here okay if they have there any demolition work or anything related to the uh relocate or whatever thing equipment and so on on site okay so better we fine tune properly we find the latest information or the latest situation okay on what they are do on site okay for example in this case if there they have some demolition or some uh, adjustment on the existing so we need to know okay the progress just by look around to the site and also sometimes we need to do some observation okay overhead issue on 
certain certain component okay for example the crane okay or anything else related to the movement of the material on site and so on at least we know the current status on that because uh, some progress will be stopped okay based on the problem occurred on the material tools and so on okay so to make it clear we need to do some observation and also we need to identify okay some of the stone uh, hard core okay either they can be obtained or not okay sometimes some issue will be uh, facing maybe some contractor do something beyond the instruction or maybe subcontractor do something is not follow the uh, what we call the instruction okay this is not under qs but we need to know okay because we still have a right eh, to give an instruction to subcontractor or uh, contractor itself okay to make sure everything is clean and good okay before the payment is come out or before we proceed with the payment that they are uh claim right Okay, and then the, some uh, excavation, okay. For example, inside they have a lot of excavation in during the early process or in the beginning, uh, sorry, in the middle of the construction period. Okay, so we will fine tune, okay, either the soil that they are take out and so on, they put back again or not on site. So to make sure, okay, we will force them, okay. If not, we not pay your uh, claim. Okay, so this is one of the stage where QS can control the site uh, progress, right? So mostly the money they will request, but we can hold a little bit to make sure all the work done properly. Then we pay their uh, claim, right? So some uh, material storage. Okay, we need to observe, okay, because a lot of issue, uh, the material, sometimes they are less, but they are not used for our, our site. Okay, some contractor, they take out from the site to others, uh, location, okay, so this is most, not mostly happen, sometimes happen, okay, if we are not observed properly, so that's why. I just to highlight here okay maybe uh qs need to observe and fine tune properly so we try to avoid any uh uh miss uh miss uh what we call misconduct on this component and uh, sometimes we need to know okay we need to observe about the site fabrication facility okay this is also some of the issue that uh contractor or subcontractor sometimes they will uh try to uh claim the job not beyond to them right sometimes this happen okay so we need to identify properly who are uh, handle that certain certain part of the fabrication facility and so on so in this stage uh to avoid double handling or double claim on certain certain uh, component <clears throat> okay so mostly uh, in the afternoon okay we will mostly we have a break okay for the lunch okay during the lunch sometime uh, all the party involved will be eat together right so we will set some place where we will uh, uh, gathering but now during the uh, COVID situation, okay. On site, mostly also we apply SOP, okay. So it's better for us, okay, to eat uh, separately, okay. We're not we're not uh, gathering all together, okay. We do maybe we eat on our own, uh, our own, uh, our own way lah, right? Okay, maybe we bring the food from house to the uh, to the site 
and uh, some of the company okay they will uh, do a uh, online meeting okay someone will be uh, snap or record the live uh, video from the site okay so everyone will be see what the progress word on the live video recording or live video okay sorry so all of us all of uh, parties involved will be see the live uh, condition on site okay so from there this is also affected during the uh, covid situation so they followed the, uh, SOP because on site, if we heard, there are a lot of uh, cases happen. Okay, because uh, some of the professional involved with site, they are afraid to go. Okay, to the site itself because the site condition sometimes is very congested. Eh? There are so many people at the same place at the same time sometimes, right? Not sometimes, most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, to avoid this uh, site meeting, sometimes do online. Okay. So not only on the work progress. Okay, they also update the work progress through the uh, what we call uh, online sharing file. Okay. So now we have a lot of option, a lot of. Uh, application that we can share in cloud okay we just give the access to the uh, what we call to other parties okay you can access the uh, what we call the the sharing file through the web and from there everyone can update on certain certain part that you are allowed to update okay so for example, some process, okay, we look here, maybe in the evening task, okay, after they take a lunch and so on, after take a break. Okay, so mostly the QS go on site to identify the work progress, okay, because they are recommend, not recommended. Mostly they go there to confirm whatever contractor or subcontractor request for uh, payment right so qs will be go there and to find out either they are accurate or not what they are claim to us right so in this stage okay whatever work progress they need to update and the update must have a tally so now we can see we are in the new era of construction industry okay we have a uh, revolution on 4.0 industry and so on so we have a lot of uh, mechanism that we can share we can sharing the data online and so on okay so before we already talked about e-tendering and so on so now in the work progress okay we have a beam we have a lot of uh, online application that we can update online Okay, for example, here under contractor, okay, subcontractor or contractor itself, okay, they can uh, update, okay, their claim through the web, okay, by attach the photo, okay, whatever the bill that are claimed by them, okay, they can do the attachment, okay, they will submit with the attachment, and from there, okay, they will review by qs okay qs will be review whatever bill they given to us okay maybe uh we go to the site to make sure every single part what they are uh claim so we go for the checklist lah, right so we bring the checklist okay so we will tick on site either they are same as what they are claim or not okay the percentage and so on right so here sometime okay general contractor will be submit the final involved to developer to review okay sometime we have an argument okay some of the uh tasks that contractor claim sometimes they are less than whatever they done on site okay so we can 
uh, identify and we will force them okay so this is the amount that you are claim but we only pay lower than that because based on what we are observed you not do the same as what you are claim for example lah, right so this thing will be go uh, step by step okay we will make sure everything is uh, done then actual work as complete only will be paid right so the process here mostly we will uh, do it on one day like half day on evening session <clears throat> okay so all this thing will be processed okay based what we are uh, observe okay the contractor will be get date and will be get paid eh, as soon as possible after everything are uh, uh, proceed right so you look here this is some issue will be occurred lah, okay so we will uh, pay for the contractor or subcontractor based on what they are uh, <coughs> what they are claim okay but we will uh, fine tune here okay maybe some work is not complete properly maybe they have there uh, some variation order or maybe some material or goods on site they are not uh, enough and so on so this thing will be solved during our uh, visit on site okay we can face to face to the uh, what we call uh, the party involved and we come up with the uh, instruction okay letter instruction not only a verbal instruction <coughs> all right okay so uh, Okay, that's mostly if we refer back, okay, on one day uh, activity on site. Okay, that's only for some, uh, what we call, some of site. Okay, if the site is more complicated, means a lot of party involved, so we will have more complicated issue. And QS need to solve some time not can be done in a day visit okay they will uh, go a lot of process on how they will uh, communicate okay maybe we have another discussion on the problem occurred all right so uh, this is another thing okay what uh, mostly happen on site Okay, from early morning until afternoon, until the end, on the evening. Okay, we try to do this uh, as a simulation, okay, to implement the work system on the daily basis. Eh? So the QS must have a good communication to all parties involved within the construction industry. Okay, so uh, in Masa, we try to uh, collaborate with another department, okay, collaborate with another uh, profession, okay, to do some uh, collaborative uh, exercise. Eh? So we have here, we try to expose the student, okay, by implementing the role play or some need to do some what we call a uh what we call a presentation eh? in teaching and learning process so presentation on certain certain issue based on the case study given or whatever the student fine tune or find the result from the case study so they need to do some uh role play okay or they need to represent how it look like as a uh real condition on site Okay, for example, lah, okay. So by using this, this is more effective. Okay, so the student can get a real situation. And sometimes we can bring the student to the real uh, process on site. How the rules of QS will be uh, the handout itself eh, for one day. Maybe we will uh, bring the student and we find what the real situation that they will facing on site. Okay, so uh, such as exposed, uh, this is very emphasized on the specific project, uh, subject, okay, at Masai Musti.
Okay, some not only for the QS student, for civil engineering student, for mechanical student, and so on. Okay, some of the issue will be will be shared together, and will be uh, what we call the learning process is more effective, and individual course will have their own report, and also they have their own task to fulfill. Okay. So the student will get more uh, earlier exposure on the, this practice, okay? So will be better prepared in practice in the construction industry later. So during this, the, we try to expose to the student, okay? This is the real situation that you will be facing later on. So from there, we guide them to make sure uh, what we call the, the learning outcome, the and also what we have in the program outcome will be achieved, right? Okay, so now this is the right time for us eh, to prepare ourselves, okay, to prepare our student in terms of knowledge and sensitivity to needs for the industry to face the challenge in line with the industrial revolution 4.0, all right? So mostly we try to fill in the uh, request from the industry okay the revolution 4.0 mostly uh, challenging part okay because now most most of the professional they try to avoid to go to the site eh, because on the safety fit uh, issue and so on so this is uh, currently the situation that we need to facing and it, we try to solve the problem right so not only on the qs side okay most of the profession on site will be facing this and try to find the best solution for our generation okay so uh what we are doing now okay so this is the right time okay for us for uh what we call uh prepare ourselves okay not only on the industrial side for education side also this is a bigger challenge for us and now at masa we are already uh prepare on that okay so uh for today this is the last uh uh topic from me okay under qs uh, department okay if you have any issue and if you have any uh, argument okay you can email me on mukram at masa.edu.my okay so that's all for today okay and we will continue back again and see you for the next uh, webinar okay thank you for follow us on this topic today one day at construction site as a qs <laughs>